Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we have a video cast for intermediate, early intermediate. intermediate. So it's going to be in English and today we're testing you out on what would you say <laughs> if somebody were to say something to you in Spanish. This catches Anything. us out a lot. Well, we, we've got some sentences. This catches us out a lot when somebody says something to us and we don't quite know how to respond, yeah? Happens in all languages. Entonces, hablamos de todo en la segunda parte. Before we start your test, your test to see how you, whether you know how to respond or not, um, we'd like to present you. Present you. This oh, I book. usually have the. Oh, you do. Usually, you do. I yeah. usually hold the book like this. <laughs> <laughs> Our new book, Gustar, Get Into Grips with Gustar. Uh, it's uh, available on Amazon in Kindle and uh, in softback. Softback, do we call it? Paperback. Paperback. Paperback, yeah. So it's there on Amazon if you would like to. All the tenses, all the tenses of Gustar are there. Everything. Everything you need. Well, not all the tenses of Gustar. All the tenses with Gustar in general. With Gustar. All the tenses <laughs> of and with. Don't this. Muy bien. Disponible ahora. Not this one, because this, as it says, here is Gordon's copy. That's my this copy. This is personal. Nobody can use it. <laughs> we might put that up for auction when, I, when I'm 120. It might be worth something. Okay. Okay, so we've done this random little list of, of um, sentences that people might say to you, things they might say. And the question is, how are you going to respond? Do you understand what they're asking or they're saying? And how are you going to respond? So there's more than one answer, okay? I mean, it's infinite, really. So the first one is, somebody says to you, Hoy es mi cumpleaños. What are you going to say? How do you respond to that? Cynthia, somebody says, Hoy es mi cumpleaños. What are you going to say to them? Felicidades. Felicidades. That's probably the most com common one, yeah? Uh -huh. Felicidades. Felicidades. Obviously, you can say, Feliz cumpleaños. Feliz also. cumpleaños. Feliz cumple. Uh -huh. um, not enhorabuena. No, no enhorabuena, no. 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 Felicidades. Felicidades is given, congratulations, when the person hasn't really done anything. Except get out of bed <laughs> for it to be the birthday. What, fel yeah. felicidades for your anniversary, yeah. your birthday. Yeah, uh -huh. things that come up that, that you know. You're a saint. Enhorabuena well. is when somebody's actually done something and you want to congratulate yeah, them. Yeah, an achievement. You know, yeah. Like a new job, things like uh -huh. that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. Uh, tengo algo que contarte. What are you going to say? How are you going to respond to that? What do you think, Cynthia? Many things. You could say, ¿de qué se trata? What's it about, mm -hmm. Alfie? Um, ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué ocurre? ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Qué te ocurre? Mm -hmm. Cuéntame. Está, cuéntame. Cuéntamelo. ¿Estás bien? ¿Todo bien? <laughs> ok. So, obviously, I've got something to tell you. So that, you know... The, ¿Qué ha pasado? ¿Qué ha I mean. pasado? Yeah, yeah. ¿Qué? ¿Cómo qué? <laughs> yeah. Exacto. Mm -hmm. Ok, next one. <laughs> Now, this true story. This is a true story. And the reason I put it in is because I didn't have a clue what to say. Somebody comes up to you and they say, Hola, ¿qué hay? ¿Qué hay? Now, when that happened to me, my mind, because I came from Mexico, it isn't something that they use in Mexico as far as I was aware, my mind went, what is there? And <laughs> my response there? was, no hay nada. <laughs> <laughs> you said no hay nada? Uh-huh. No hay nada. Well, that's, that's something that you would not say. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens when somebody says, ¿qué hay? What are they after? Okay, ¿qué hay? is from ¿qué hay de nuevo? So what's new since I last saw you? No? What's, what's new in your life? ¿Qué hay? But usually when somebody says ¿Qué hay? You answer with another ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué tal? 
Mm-hmm. It's not usually like a, a typical question. Say like what's up? Answer. What's up? Hey, what's up? You know, you, yeah. Yeah, and you answer with hey, how are you? Get that, no? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you get away with just not answering it? Guy. Does it need an answer? That would be rude. <laughs> 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 We're going to ignore hey, you. Hey, Gordon, hello, how are, you? how are you? And then you go, what's up? Click, click, click. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. could have said something. Yeah. Muy bien, ¿qué tal? Oh, you can, you know what we use a lot. Aquí estamos. Aquí estamos. Well, yeah. We don't know what to say. Absolutely. Aquí estamos. Uh, you know. Uh-huh. Exactly. Yeah. 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 A lot. Right. So then you would have to ask back as well. Yeah. Yeah. Next one. So, in what situation are you, and what do you say when somebody says to you, "Qué le pongo"? Qué le pongo. Okay, so obviously that that context would be either a restaurant, a bar, or a supermarket, or some sort of shop. Where they're serving Where they're you. serving you something. Yeah. Like a meat um, counter, cheese counter. Yes, not, 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 not a clothing store or something like that. That would be more like a um, for fruit, fish, vegetables. Yeah. Like or bar, restaurant. Typically in a bar. Uh-huh. Que le pongo? So whatever it is, they're basically saying, what do you want? What can I give you? What can I give you all in that serving? Yeah. So for example, okay. eh, me pone un kilo de, de patatas. Mm-hmm. Or me, me pone una cerveza. That's it, yeah. Yeah. So it's just you tell the one to know what you want. Yeah. Or póngame, if you want to use the command. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could say, me pone, as a question, me pone un... Un café, por favor. O póngame un café. Mm-hmm. 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 Or directly what you want. Un café. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. All right, so here's another true story. Oh what God. do you say if somebody says to you, ¿Cómo eres? ¿Cómo okay. eres? Right. What you don't do is say, Estoy bien. ¿Cómo estás tú? Okay. That's not what they're asking. What are they asking? Did that happen to you? Yes. Also. (laughs) All of these happened to me. (laughs) So this is like a true story. This is is true. In a a question. My (laughs) history of learning Spanish and making mistakes. Yeah. Okay. So when somebody says to you, como eres, what do they want to know? So if they're saying, they're asking como eres, as opposed to como estas, they're asking, asking you to describe yourself. Exactly. So then you would have with soy, the, soy with description, the description. Soy hombre, soy, soy alto, soy delgado. O soy una persona paciente, o soy una persona tranquila, mm-hmm. o soy una persona nerviosa. You're talking about your soy, personality, yeah? For example, yeah, yeah. If you describe your personality or your physical yeah. appearance. You could say, como eres de personalidad, no? O como eres físicamente. Claro. Ajá. Mm-hmm. Okay. This one. Another true story. When somebody asks you this question, what do they want to know and how are you going to answer? ¿Quién es el titular? That, that is definitely uh, a true story for you because <laughs> remember that. So that happened to me. Let me tell you just a brief outline of what happened. So I talking on the phone for, for us is the biggest challenge. For anyone who's learning another language, talking on the phone, because you've got no visual clues whatsoever. That's true. Yeah? yeah. So I was talking to somebody, I can't remember, some official thing, like bank or whatever. I can't, it doesn't matter what. Was it not the phone company? Might have been the phone company, yeah. And so the guy said, it is English. A ver, voy a buscar a uh, una persona que hable inglés. Okay, so you're English. I'll find somebody who speaks English. And I said to him, que no pasa nada. Entiendo todo. <laughs> Excepto. And they, and, La right, que literally, viene I said, <laughs> don't worry, I understand everything. Pero, por favor, eh, háblame despacio. Okay, that's all I said to him. And he, this next question, he said, ¿Quién es el titular? And I, and I said, ¿Qué es eso? Y el, el titular... 
He, d- he did a really bad job of explaining. I've got to yeah, say, yeah, maybe he, he entered into panic mode. I like, think, what, what do you but mean I think he was also that? like, I was going to get you translated, and now you don't understand me. <laughs> so what does "quién es el titular" mean? So el, el titular, yeah, you've got a specific word in English as well, yeah. The account holder. The account holder, exactly. So it's it's one of the words that you either know or you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the the, the exactly. owner. Yeah. Of the of the account, yeah. The title, the yeah. title. El titular. Yeah. So that was. So that's. So if somebody says, "Quién es el titular?" They just want to know who's the name on the account. What name is on the account? Yeah. On the yeah. on the whose title? So yeah. On, on the my title. Yeah. Title mm-hmm. a, a, as a name. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what about this one? Le puedo ayudar en algo? So that's a question that you would be asked typically when you walk into a shop, you know, a clothing department, mm, something like that. Mm-hmm. And they, not so much now, not so much now. I've, I've I noticed. still do. I, I was but attacked then, twice uh, when I was waiting attacked. for you in the shop. I was attacked twice by, by yeah. the assistant. So they usually would come to you and they would say, can I help you with anything? Or I don't know, what. what's the typical question? Can I help it? you with anything? Yeah. Can I help you with anything? So that would be the... Le puedo ayudar en algo. And how do you answer that when you want to say? So obviously, if you need help, then you say, "Sí, necesito blah blah blah." Or okay. busco. Or busco blah blah blah. And if you if you're just just looking looking, eh, no gracias. Solo estoy mirando. Solo estoy mirando. I'm just looking. Very important. <laughs> Remember that. Solo estoy mirando. Okay. And and I used. Used to say, solo estoy buscando. Okay, it's really not not right, but there you are. So, solo estoy mirando. Okay, and the last one. Somebody says, tú eres un cachondo. Ah, que sí. <laughs> Careful ah, with que that sí. one as well. I know, I know, I know. Careful I know. with I that one I do a well. little bit of a thing there. <laughs> tú eres un cachondo. Ah, que sí. Ah, que sí. Or maybe a safer one if they say to you. If it could be anything. Te gusta el café, a que sí. Safer than going for. All right. Eres un cachondo, because, you know, because of the word cachondo. Exactly. It could take you to different Different, different places, different, <laughs> different feelings. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. Te gusta mm-hmm. el café, a que sí. So what what what's happening when people are saying a que sí? So that question is one of those tag questions to confirm that the the before mentioned uh-huh. <laughs> sentence is true. So it's like you like coffee. In English you do it the opposite way. So if I say you like coffee, then the the tag question will be negative. Mm-hmm. Don't you? Don't you? But in Spanish, it's the other way around. So if it's affirmative, then the question is in affirmative. ¿Te gusta el café? ¿A que sí? Yeah? Or, but if it's negative, if the statement is negative, then the question will be negative. ¿No te gusta el café? ¿A que no? So it's a confirmation. So you use the same, if it's affirmative, affirmative, negative, negative. Okay? Uh-huh. And so how do you confirm. answer that then? Somebody says, uh, ¿Te gusta el café? ¿A que sí? Sí, sí, me gusta el café. Mm. Or no, no me gusta el café. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that's used opposite. a lot as a tag question. I can see. It's like, an, uh, isn't that the case? Sí. Yeah. Sí. Eso es. It, we, use, we use that a lot. I can see. I can know. You do. You use it more than the average person. <laughs> no, Gordon has like an <laughs> average person versus my wife. <laughs> and then he ticks. <laughs> Not just some people, obviously some people use some things more than others. Sure, yeah, yeah. Maybe I like the, the confirmation. I think you do, yeah, that confrontation. <laughs> confrontation, it's confirmation. Not con- <laughs> it's not a confrontation. I can see, it's not like... Eres muy, muy malo, must. muy malo, I can see. <laughs> there you are. Bueno, eso es todo. Muchas gracias, Cintia. A ti. Eh, y gracias a vosotros por estar con nosotros. Ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.